If you use iPhone, let me show you how you can delete or offload applications from your device. Hi everyone, I'm Wilson, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, subscribe. If you find this video helpful, don't forget, like it and share it. Without further ado, let's get started. To delete an app on your iPhone, what you have to do is find the app that you want to delete. In this case, I want to delete the Crunchyroll app. So to delete it, what you have to do is tap on the app and hold it until you get this pop-up notification with all these menus. One of the options that you have right at the top is remove the app. Tap there. You'll get this new window. Right here, you have the option to delete the app or to remove it from your home screen. If you click on delete the app, you will delete the app from your iPhone. If you click on remove from the home screen, you will just remove the app from your home screen. For now, let's tap on remove from the home screen. As you can see, the app was removed from your home screen. It's not yet deleted. At the last page of the home screen, if we swipe from the right to the left, we'll have access to the app library. Right here on the search option, tap there and let's look for Crunchyroll. You can see here that the app appears in the search. That means the application is still installed in our device. From here, we can uninstall it and the process is the same. Just tap and hold on the app icon. You'll get this menu right here and you have down here the option to delete. Tap there. You will get this pop-up notification asking if you really want to delete this application. If you really want to delete it, tap on delete and this application will be deleted from your iOS device. On iPhone, you also have the option to offload an application from your device. Offloading means that you will be able to remove the application from your device, but all the data related to that application will stay on your device. This way, if you decide to reinstall the application, all the data related to it will be there and you don't have to start from the scratch. Let me show you now how you can offload an application. To do that, go to the settings, tap on the settings app, inside settings, let's go to the iPhone storage, scroll down, tap on general, inside general, tap on iPhone storage. And you can see here all the applications and the amount of storage they are using. In this video, I'm going to offload the Brave browser. So I'm going to scroll to find the Brave browser. Brave is right here, so I'm going to tap there. And you can see here inside the Brave browser that one of the options that I have is offload. And the last one is the option to delete. I don't want to delete, so I just want to offload this application. What I'm going to do is tap on offload. You'll get this pop-up notification right here at the bottom. Because I want just to offload, I'm going to tap again on offload app. When you offload an app, you will get this cloud icon with an arrow pointing down. And you can see right below it that even though we have removed the app, we still have a data related to this application. This is how you offload an app from your iOS device. This way, if I reinstall the Brave browser, I will not start from the fresh. Everything I have related to the Brave browser, I will find it. This is how you delete or offload an application from your iOS device. Well everyone, that's all for this video. If this video helped you, don't forget like, share it and subscribe to the channel. This way you won't miss any upcoming video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.